he looks so good. He looks so good. Peggy Saladino and Linda Potter right under the mesquite tree can point him out with ease. The one with the long horns. Feeding away. <laughs> <laughs> Long horns that grab attention can also grab by mistake. And I was going to find somebody that could take care of him. The sisters were on their way to breakfast last week when they saw this steer with its head low to the ground. Toward the ground like he was eating, but he also looked a little strained. I saw him struggling against the metal and I knew he was in trouble. The horns got trapped in a hay feeder. The owner's apparently gone. We've grown up around animals all of our lives. So. And they worried he could hurt himself, even break his neck. I watched the vet shows on TV and I knew that if they stayed very long like that, that they could build up mineral deposits and it could kill them. So that's when they called for help and Hazlitt Fire had just the tool. It's a very multi-purpose tool. Portable jaws of life. Touch of the button. Usually used in car accidents. Uh, that's to, to pop a door, to make a cut. But just watch, in a few seconds, they're able to cut through the metal pipe and free the animal. There you go. I'm standing here. The best part of being a firefighter is you just don't know what the next call is going to be. Uh, we train for, for fire and medical, but uh, you have to be able to think outside the box. I was so pleased to see that. When you're stuck, it's nice to have good neighbors. This one was a first for me. We're just glad he's not injured. Yeah. In Hazlitt, Bradley Blackburn. There you go. Channel 8 News.